Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here for day 10 of 10, talking to you about the lessons I've learned in a decade as an entrepreneur. And to bring you the very last gift in our promotion, celebrating 10 years and sharing some of what we have with you to drive your entrepreneurial success. Today's gift is a place on our master plan programme. You can find the details at watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years. I've just put the link in the comments. I'm inviting you to join me for a year on our master plan program. It's for one person, one solo, uh, one uh, micro business entrepreneur to work with me for, for a year through master plan. Take a look at the details. It's a program that's worth two and a half thousand pounds, probably more, because I will be putting myself as your accountability partner. We will spend half an hour together each month walking you through the Watertight Marketing methodology and how it applies to your business. I want to run through the nine lessons that I've shared so far and then my final lesson for today, which links very much to the gift that we're giving. On day one, I told you to celebrate your successes. We celebrate the successes of our master planners every year with a party and a set of awards. And so if you come on this program, you will be warmly invited to join us at next year's party to celebrate the success that I know you, that you will achieve through the party, through the program. Day two, I said, capture your ideas. We have a set of workbooks and through the master plan program, I will support you to catch the ideas about your business and about how you talk about your business. On day three, I talked about investing in your own skills. The Master Plan Programme is a phenomenal programme of learning. It's probably equivalent to an MBA or a Master's in Marketing or the SIM Diploma, but more practical, more hands-on and totally applied to business. Karen Meager, who's one of our um, graduates, after nearly 10 years as an entrepreneur and with a background in marketing, said that the year that she spent on Master Plan with us was the best investment of her business life. On day four, I talked to, to you about the importance of having a third party perspective on your business. Master Plan gives you that. You'll have me, you'll have the experts in our community, and you'll have your peers, all of whom have also been through the entrepreneurial journey with us. On day five, I talked about being generous in business, generous with your knowledge and generous to yourself. Through the Master Plan program, we will help you to catch your knowledge and package it in ways that you will be comfortable to share generously and for free. And we will reflect back to you how brilliantly, how brilliantly you're doing so that you can feel generous towards yourself. On day six, I talked about the power of visual. I talked about photography. I talked about infographics. I talked about visual metaphor. Through the master plan program, we'll help you find your messaging, the way that you talk about yourself. We'll support you in getting some brand guidelines done. Come along to our conference and our party, and you can get some photography done whilst you're there. On day seven, I talked about backing yourself. Investing in the master plan program, which is a time investment of between six to 12 hours per month for 12 months is a phenomenal investment in backing yourself. And I really encourage you to do it. And on day eight, I talked to you about prioritization. We kick off the master plan program with a prioritization of your uh, business and where you should focus. And in this gift, you're gonna be partnered by me and on our call, we will talk through your priorities. And on day nine yesterday, I talked about my life as a business tortoise. Much of what Master Plan does and the reason we do it over a year is to slow you down so that you can reflect, so that you can think clearly. So rather than going for a 12 week build your business, double your business in 12 days kind of course, this is a year of learning that will set you up for the rest of your entrepreneurial life. So those were the nine lessons I've shared so far and that's why we're giving away this phenomenal gift today. And what's my final lesson? My final lesson is to look after yourself. Many people will know that I, when someone says to me that, um, that their marketing isn't working, the people we work with, who are business owners, step up businesses, or people at a milestone in their businesses, are people who have risked their mortgage, their marriage, and their mental health. And so when they tell me their marketing isn't working, it's not the M word I hear. I hear that they've risked their mortgage, their marriage, their mental health, and it's not working. When I see good people with good products, I'm almost physically compelled to help them 
reach their potential. That's why I do what I do. It's why I walked away from my corporate job 10 years ago to set this up. And I know what it's like because I've done it myself. When I set up in business, my husband wasn't working. I had no income. The mortgage was all on me. And it was a mortgage that we had taken on when I had a six-figure salary. I know what it's like to have to win business to make sure that you can pay the bills. I know what it's like to run a business when you have a relationship in your life that's important and the business is taking your time and your energy. I've been with my husband for 21 years this year, 15 years married, and I know that for anybody who is as passionate about their business as I know business owners are, will have times when they have prioritized their business over their close relationships, be that a significant other in your life or friendships. I know that running a business puts strain on those things. I know because I've done it. I know because I have at times got my priorities wrong and prioritized the business above the people who are important in my life. And mental health, mental health is a really big one for me. And it's why I want to help business owners step off the roller coaster. Entrepreneurs go through this roller coaster where they're up, they're down, they're up, they're down, they're up, they're down. They're really on, they're on it and then they burn out. They're on it and they burn out. How do I know that? Because I've done it because I've done it. And the reason that watertight marketing exists is to help you to see clearly, to prioritize, to focus that time and energy, and to pace yourself to do these things. Because entrepreneurs put themselves out there, make themselves visible like I am here. But mental health has been important to me for all of my life. My mother took her own life when I was five. I've suffered from depression myself over the years. I've been recently diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. And I know that entrepreneurs have pressures on them that make looking after themselves the number one priority. And I, yeah, I can tell you that the process that we go through on Master Plan and the way that we look after the people in our community is founded on the fact that we care about you as people. So today's lesson is to look after yourself. It's Friday. I hope you've got some relaxation planned at the weekend. It's a lesson that I always have to learn. It's a lesson that I have to remind myself often. I'm better perhaps at helping other people to achieve it than I am myself. And so anyone who's part of the Watertype Marketing community, whether that's by registering a copy of your book and joining us in the Facebook group, whether that's because you are a professional marketer and you come on board to license our materials and use our tools with your clients, whether you join us on Master Plan for a journey of learning that will set you up for the rest of your entrepreneurial life, or whether you come to our conference. This is all based on the absolute belief that humanity and treating yourself decently and kindly is the only way to build a sustainable business. Today, uh, an article of mine was published over on the, um, the Executive magazine, and it was about the use of language in marketing and how I'm on a bit of a, a campaign. Maybe that's the wrong word. It is the wrong word. It's a military word. I'm on a mission to humanize business language and to bring ethics and humanity and some of my hippie childhood, perhaps, into the way that marketers help businesses to connect with the humans that they work with and who use their products and services. And by doing that, we build sustainable businesses. By building sustainable businesses, we create jobs that people love and an economy that thrives. And so if you would like me to partner you through our master plan program, which is a paced, sequenced, one year learning program that will set you up for the rest of your entrepreneurial life to make confident and clear marketing decisions, apply today. You can apply from anywhere in the world. Lou Johnson and I will go through those applications and the criteria for the person we, joy, we um, give this to, that we gift this to, is someone who I will thoroughly enjoy working with. So the criteria is, will you and I connect over a year so that I can really help your business. And so that the time that we spend together will be warm, will be kind, will be generous, and will really push your business forward because that's what we like to do here. Certainly what I like to do here.
So those were my lessons. Celebrate your successes, catch your ideas, invest in your own skills, get a third party perspective, be generous in your business, visualize what you do, back yourself, prioritize so that you can focus, be okay with being a business tortoise and look after yourself. Those were my lessons from 10 years in business. Do share your learnings with me. I do hope you'll apply. I hope we'll invite you into our community. So much love from me over the last 10 days, 10 years. I hope to spend more time with you. Lots of love. Bye.